everybody, it's Miss Britt from the Ridgewood Public Library. I'm here today with a Cinco de Mayo story time for everyone. So before we get started, Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of Mer Mexican heritage, culture, and pride. It's celebrated on the 5th of May, which is what Cinco de Mayo means in Spanish, to honor the Mexican army's unexpected victory over an invading army. Um, in Mexico, especially in the town of Puebla, where the battle was won many years ago, they celebrate Cinco de Mayo with parades and parties and music and food. Um, but it's actually probably a bigger celebration in uh, the United States than in the rest of Mexico. We have um, a day to honor and celebrate the Mexican heritage of our friends and family members and neighbors. So I hope you'll join me now as we get started. First, we're going to sing the hello song. Okay, can you clap with me? Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed, hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, my darling. And we're going to have some Spanish words in our story time today since we're celebrating Mexican heritage. And you say hello in Spanish by saying hola, so hola. Please, everybody, bear with me if my Spanish pronunciation, if I don't say the words as well as I could. I'm doing my best, I promise. So the first book we have today is called Cinco de Mauso, instead of Cinco de Mayo. This is by Judy Cox, and the pictures are by Jeffrey Ebler. Cinco de Mauso. On the 5th of May... Mouse woke up and wriggled his nose. Spicy smells tickled. Be beanie, cheesy, ricey smells. A Mexican fiesta. Fantastico! There he is. Mouse crawled out of his hidey hole. Where was the fiesta? Not in the bathroom where the kids brushed their teeth. Not in the bedroom where mom folded laundry. Not in the kitchen, where Dad washed dishes. Mouse slipped out the front door and set off to explore. So, let's see here. There's the picture of the kids brushing their teeth, and there's Dad doing the dishes. <clears throat> Mouse scampered down the alleyways, past the sidewalks and the street lights. He didn't see greedy cats stalk him down the street. Before long, Mouse stopped at the edge of the city park. You see the picture? What sights met his eyes? All around were people eating, singing, dancing, strolling, playing. All around were food and drinks, sombreros, serrapes, and bright paper flowers. Cinco de Mayo! His eyes grew round as he beheld a confetti-covered piñata, stuffed with candy and shaped like a burro, hanging in a tree above the plaza. I must have that for my fiesta, he said to himself. He jumped, but the enticing piñata swung out of reach. But all around were people eating, dropping snacks for mouse-sized meals, yummy foods he'd never tasted before. Tacos, tamales, chorizo, and flan. When Mouse was full, he dozed under the shade of a canopy. Cat crouched in the flower bed, tail up and head down, waiting for his chances. Okay, there they all are. Let's see. Where's Mouse? Can you find him? Where is the mouse? There he is. He's carrying a bunch of food. 
But all around came dancers stamping, heels stomping, toes tapping. Mouse woke up and dashed away from Cat, ducking between dancers, pounding feet, zigging and zagging, jigging and jagging. Cat pounced, but missed his prey as Mouse darted beneath the stage. Mouse heard the mariachis play, heard the guitarron, the trumpets, the sweet-voiced violins, heard the boom of fireworks and people shouting, Viva Mexico! When at last Mouse's heartbeat steadied, his whiskers quivered. Once again, he smelled the candy hidden deep in the piñata. But how to reach the sweets? Buried in the burro, swaying high above the plaza. There's our pictures. Lickety split, Mouse scrambled up the tree. He inched across the rope like a tightrope walker, one paw in front and one paw behind. He didn't see Cat hiding in the daffodils, his stripy tail switching, his grainy eyes narrowed. Mouse. The piñata swayed as Mouse climbed up. He smelled the treats, fruity, sugary, and honey sweet. He nibbled, he gnawed, but he could not reach the treasure inside. Just, came the, just then came the swish of the stick as a child swung and someone jerked the piñata aloft. You see, there's Mouse hanging on. He's all the way up there, hanging on as they're hitting the piñata, trying to break it open. Mouse held on tight as the piñata swayed and sailed, dipped and spun. A carnival ride for Mouse. In the plaza down below, Cat waited for Mouse to fall into his paws like a ripe plum. And then whap! A mighty blow and the burro burst. Mouse flew through the air like a skyrocket and landed in the rose bushes, head spinning and tummy churning. You see Mouse, there he is flying through, where is he? Flying through the air there with all the candy falling from the pinata. Candy spilled across the plaza, showering like hailstones. Children ran to and fro, laughing, yelling, and scooping up handfuls, pocketfuls, bagfuls. Someone stepped on Cat's tail, and Cat yowled and sped home, his tail bruised and sore. When Mouse caught his breath, he sat up. The candy was gone. The people were leaving. The cleaners were sweeping and picking up trash. No dessert for me, Mouse thought, his whiskers drooping. But wait, hidden in the ivy, Mouse spied a lemon drop, overlooked, forgotten, and wrapped in shiny cellophane. There's the lemon drop up there. Can you see it? He picked it up and ran home to his hidey hole for one last treat. Cinco de mouso, que felicidad. The end. Good listening, everybody. Great job. Good job. Okay, so how about we shake our sillies out? You ready for that one? Gonna shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake. Shake my sillies out and wiggle all my wabbles away. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out and wiggle all my wabbles away. I'm gonna jump, jump, jump my jitters out. Jump, jump, jump my jitters out. Jump, jump, jump my jitters out and wiggle all my wabbles away. I'm gonna yawn, yawn. Yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, wiggle my waggles away. Good job, very good. Okay, my next book is called One is a Piñata. This is a book of numbers, and it's by Roseanne Greenfield Thong, and the art is John, by John Parra. We're going to count to ten in Spanish, 
And we're also gonna learn some Spanish words together, okay? One is a piñata. One, or uno. One is a rainbow. One is a cake. One is a piñata that's ready to break. Two, or dos. Two are maracas we shake to the beat. Two are zapatos on my feet. These are the maracas. They're shakers. They have little uh, beads inside. And zapatos are shoes. Two are the goalies. Two are the teams. Two are the sonrisas and cold ice cream. There's the picture. Sonrisas are smiles. Three... There's three, tres. Three are barbujas that slide and wiggle. Three are the pops and then the giggles. Burbujas are bubbles. Do you see? Four, cuatro. Four are bolillos just waiting to dip in four cups of chocolate. But first, take a sip. There's a picture. Bolillos are uh, bread. They're like rolls. Five are cometas that dip and fly. Five are the nubes that float through the sky. Five is cinco. And cometas are kites and nubes are clouds. Five beach palapas, five boats in the bay, five hammocks swinging on a lazy day. These are palapas. Just sort of little shelters, like an umbrella or something that you can get under at the beach for some shade. Six kind of salsas to pour on rice. Six rosy faces from all the spice. Six flavored aguas to quench our thirst. Try horchata or piña first. So the number six is seis. Salsas are sauces. We have salsa that is the most traditional Mexican salsa. Um, and flavored aguas are like fruit waters. They're flavored with all sorts of fruity drinks. Horchata is a special kind of drink in Mexico or piña, which is pineapple. Seven are marigolds to lead the way. Seven calaveras to put on display. Seven, or siete, and these are calaveras. They're little sugar skulls. They're a decoration, especially around uh, Day of the Dead, which is right after Halloween. Eight are the frutas we eat on a stick with chili and lime juice. Come take your pick. Eight or ocho and frutas are fruit. Nine or nueve. Nine paraguas and puddles for splashing. Nine slick raincoats for those who love dashing. Paraguas are umbrellas. Ten or diez. Ten glowing velas, ten banners bright, ten faroles that guide us by candlelight. There we go. Velas are candles and faroles are a special paper lantern. These are the faroles up here. Ten are my friends who join the fiesta. Ten are the yawns before our siesta. Fiesta is a party and fiesta is a party and siesta is a nap. There are so many numbers we love to contar from uno to diez. Can you count that far? Contar is to count. So let's count in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Muy bien. Very well done. Good job, everybody. Good job. 
Thank you so much for joining me today for our Cinco de Mayo story time. I hope that you have an excellent day and I hope that you enjoyed our story time. Adios!